What if I told you that something exists that is so round that nothing can actually be more round than it? It's an intriguing concept to have something that is perfectly round. But that is precisely what scientists have found. So far, they have been unable to see anything but perfect roundness from this object. Importantly, determining exactly how round this is may solve open fundamental questions in physics. So let's discuss it. What does it mean to be round? It doesn't take a lot for us to say that something is round. Basically, any ball is round, but no ball is perfectly round. There are two main ways that something can deviate from being round, roughness and shape bulge. Golf balls are great spheres, but they have pretty obvious divots in them that add roughness, but any bulges are hard to see by eye. Tennis balls are another example where fabric sticks out from the ball, giving it tiny hairy hills. Even a table tennis ball that looks extremely round is microscopically rough. All of these balls do look quite round, but how round are they? A great comparison is the earth itself. We know that the earth isn't round, it bulges at the equator and it clearly isn't smooth. We have mountains and valleys. There is a factoid out there that if the earth was shrunk down to the size of a billiard ball, it would be just as smooth. While this isn't exactly accurate, it's not far off. The mountains and the valleys are tiny compared to the diameter of the earth, making the earth more round than both the golf ball and the tennis ball. But we have made things significantly more round than the earth. The roundest man-made object is a chunk of silicon and an extremely expensive one at that. There is actually an interesting story behind the creation of this incredibly smooth ball, which Veritasium has a great video on. In order to have a reliable measurement system, we need to have calibration that defines what these values are. And mass is something that we need to calibrate. We need to have a test mass that defines what a kilogram is, which can then define what a pound is for the imperial system. There have been many different ways that we have done this in the past, but they've all been unreliable and prone to errors over time. Ultimately, we want a metric that is independent of anything else. This is where this hyper round silicon sphere comes into play. We need a way to define a kilogram that is fundamental. Meters are defined by the length that light travels in a vacuum in this fraction of a second. And we define a second from the specific transition frequency of the cesium-133 atom, such that this transition frequency is defined as this, which then is used to define seconds. These values aren't tied to physical objects, but to fundamental constants of the universe. So we just need to define mass in a similar way. In this case, a kilogram of a sphere of pure silicon 28, meaning that there are no isotopes, which has a diameter of 93.6 millimeters, and thus is also fundamental. So how round is it? If this were the size of the earth, the highest mountain and the lowest valley would be 14 meters apart. That is insanely round. To put this in context, if we demolished all of the mountains, to the point where the earth was completely covered in water, the earth would still have a bulge that is more than a thousand times larger than this. But even this is not the roundest object that we have observed. That title goes to a star beautifully named KIC 11145123. Celestial objects form into spheres due to their gravitational pull, but to conserve momentum, they spin, and this spinning generates centrifugal forces, which pulls their equatorial regions away from the center of rotation. This makes celestial bodies bulge, the same as the Earth, and the faster that something spins, the larger this bulge. So what is different about this unique star is that it's spinning incredibly slow. It is rotating three times slower than our sun, but is twice as large. This is coupled with some interesting internal dynamics, which results in the roundest star ever observed. If we again put this on the scale of the Earth, it would have a deviation of under 13 meters, slightly less than the silicon sphere. But even these incredibly round objects are not perfectly round. And that is because nothing can be if it is made up of something else. To explain why this is true, we can use the game of Minecraft. 
If you wanted to try to make a sphere in Minecraft, you could see something like this. Building a sphere with cubes ultimately leads to steps in the sphere. If the blocks are really small, like atoms, or the sphere is really large, like a planet, then these small block steps will become so small that we won't be able to notice them, but they will still be there. And that is why nothing that is made up of smaller components can ever be perfectly round. But there is something that scientists have been unable to detect any deviation from round, making it so round that it might be mathematically impossible to be more round than it. This amazing object is the electron. As far as we can tell, the electron is a fundamental particle, meaning that it is not made up of any additional particles. If true, this means that the electron has a chance of being perfectly round. But just because something is a fundamental particle doesn't mean that it will be perfectly round. This is where scientists have been performing highly sensitive measurements to determine how round the electron is. They have been able to detect how round the electron is by looking for what is called the electric dipole moment or the lack thereof. If inside the electron particles were popping in and out of existence, then this would perturb the electron's charge. This is exactly what is incurring inside of protons, but electrons are meant to be fundamental particles. So the chances of random particles appearing inside of an electron is not zero, but it is very small. The existence of these particles would cause sections of the electron to have more negative charge while others would have slightly more positive charge. This distribution of charge would create an electron dipole moment. And if this exists, we should be able to rotate electrons using electric fields, something that we can readily do with magnetic fields. And this is exactly what scientists are trying to do. They take clouds of neutral molecules and try to detect their reaction to electric fields. These are amazingly complex experiments but the payoff is similarly amazing. If they detect a deviation from being round, then they will have evidence of new physics beyond the standard model of particle physics. But despite their best efforts, they are yet to detect anything. So far, they can say that if the electron was the size of the Earth, then it is more round than having a single sugar molecule somewhere on its surface, which is many, many orders of magnitude better than our man-made silicon sphere we need more research to discover its true limit. The fundamental building blocks of our universe are fascinating, but mysterious entities. We still don't know completely what is going on inside of a proton. Luckily, you can check out this video to catch up on our current best understanding, which has recently changed.